In the waters of baptism, Kathleen died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. And we're just going to place the Gospels here now on the coffin in life. Kathleen cherished the Gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Kathleen received the sign of the cross, may she now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. And we place the cross on the coffin. Now we're just going to bring up a few symbols, a few symbols of Kathleen's life, which will explain a little of who Kathleen was. So, first of all, Leone is going to carry up some CDs of some of Kathleen's favorite singers. And I suppose bands will be too many to mention all of the ones that she loved. So we're just going to bring up some of them then. Um, so Leona, very good. <coughs> Now, Emily 
and Casey are coming up a short of after dark. And I think that uh, remark was I made that this was very special for uh, catching. Now, Paul is turning up a photo of Kathleen's dog, Toby, which she adored. And finally, Melissa is carrying on a bingo board of which Kathleen used a lot of which she loved her bingo which was very important for her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Coming together as God's family with confidence, <coughs> let us ask the Father for forgiveness for years full of gentleness and compassion. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord God, source and destiny of our lives, in your loving providence you give us, Kathleen, to grow in wisdom, age, and grace. Now you have called her to yourself. As we grieve the loss of one so young, we seek to understand your purpose. Draw her to yourself and give her full stature of Christ. May she stand with all the angels and saints who know you love and praise your saving will. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. That's what we're going to do the reading. If the mic to come forward, please.
Alleluia, alleluia. It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. The Gospel of the Lord. And just be seated for a couple of moments. We are gathered here this afternoon, our hearts filled with sorrow and grief, to pray for a loving sister and daughter, a generous aunt, and a very gentle, caring, and loving friend. She will be greatly missed. I remember reading on one occasion that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Kathleen has touched our lives in many different ways. And that is why we are here this afternoon. This past week, we have all seen those charming images from Chris Locke in Donegal of the catastrophe that changed the lives of so many people. People who were living their ordinary lives, buying an ice cream, using the ATM, working in a shop, etc. And in one split moment, everything has changed in their lives forever. Last weekend, Kathleen Grace was doing what she loved doing, listening to country music and attending concerts with her siblings. And suddenly her life has ended abruptly and this has changed all your lives forever. We come here to give thanks for Kathleen's short but fruitful life and to offer to those who will miss her most our love, our sympathy and our presence. Last Monday it came as a shock to all of us of her sudden death doing something she always loved to do, listening to country music. It was through the music that she met her loving partner Jack, with whom she will be buried this afternoon. Kathleen was living life to the full, as she always did. And she gently withdrew, withdrew from her loving family and friends. As the sudden death of Kathleen began to fill the true community of Nathalow and Strathmacheli and well beyond, all of the communities experienced a great sense of sadness and loss, especially her sisters Josie, Eileen, Lily, Mary, Bridget and her brothers Ollie, Paddy, Jim, Paul and Mike. We also extend our sympathy this afternoon to her mother, Bridie, her 27 nieces and nephews, and many grand nieces and grand nephews. Kathleen is once again reunited with her father, James, and her sister, Bridget Allen. And I have no doubt that Kathleen continues to do what she always did listening to country music in the heavens and enjoying all the artists that are there in heaven and she has many to enjoy there. When we come to occasions like this, 
there are no easy answers. Why was she taken at such a young age? Kathleen was in her 58th year, but she sure did squeeze many more years into those 58 years. And to, pay, to try to pay tribute to this remarkable daughter and sister, this true friend and gentle neighbor, I think we all feel inadequate. At moments like this, many fond memories come flooding back. Her siblings will cherish all the beautiful memories they have of their loving sister for many years to come. And these memories are what will keep them going. Kathleen was a larger than life person. She loved living life to the full. She loved her bingo. And as we said, she loved her country music. And this is where she met her partner, Jack. She loved walking. She loved gardening. And of course, her dogs and cats. Kathleen worked in the IP for many years and met many friends there in her time and many of them were shocked when they heard of Kathleen's death. Her life, and, her life was filled and fueled by a positive spirit that endeared her to so many, especially her loving siblings. We gather here this afternoon to thank God for Kathleen's short life but her life was lived to the full. She was called at doing exactly what she always did, living life to the full. And as we leave through Kathleen's book of life with heavy hearts, we remember the precious moments we shared together, the crack and the tears, the good times and the bad times, the happy and the sad. No doubt there are many fond memories that we will all cherish for years to come. Kathleen was conscious that life was temporary, and that's why she lived life to the full. She found her spirituality in people and nature. Kathleen was a great people's person. She was a great friend, a great neighbor, a person who will be sadly missed. Together we grieve, Together we pray, together we hurt. This is a heavy price we pray for love. We gather as a family of faith to be with you, to support you by our prayers and by our presence. Those whose darkness is deep, whose pain is raw and fierce. You have been robbed of a very precious gift. A gift that gave only joy and love, fun and laughter to so many people beyond your family. You are struggling to come to terms with the heaviest of burdens, and we offer you our sympathy, our presence, and our prayers. Let us keep in mind that she has gone no further away from us than to God, and God is very near. To die is to find God, to meet him, to be with him. We are sad that Catherine has departed this life at such a young age, but we are happy for her because she continues to do what she always did, and she now receives her merited reward. May she rest in peace. Amen. Those who are going to read the prayers of the faithful now, if they'd like to come forward, please. As we stand before the mystery of death, Christ stands among us and says to us, Corrie, do not be afraid. Therefore, let us place our prayers before him, confident that he will hear them. Lord, today we mourn and celebrate the life we have all shared with Kathleen. 
May our hope and resurrection of eternal life bring us comfort and turn our sadness to joy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord of all consolation, help Kathleen's family and partner Jim in their grief to comfort one another. May they find light in the time of doubt. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for all our departments, especially Kathleen's father and sister Bridget, who has now been reunited in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for Kathleen's friends who could not be here today, but are now streaming this ceremony to join us from abroad and around Ireland. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for those whom in which Kathleen supported in the music industry, especially her two favourites, Stuart Miles and Michael Collins. May they continue to keep her memory alive as they sing the songs that Kathleen loved. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for Kathleen's very baby Toby and her cats, which she loved and adored. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for the management and the staff of the Clangley Hotel, the doctor that was on call, the emergency service in the Guardian in Letterkenny. We thank them who helped us the best they could. May the Lord always be to support. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we say a special prayer for Kathleen's sisters, Mary and Lily, who had to make those calls to family and friends that they would be returning home without their sisters. May they comfort you one another knowing that Kathleen lived her last best moments with them. May they find the strength and courage to get through this sad and difficult time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God of power and love, you made us not for death, but for eternal life. Let the splendor of Christ's resurrection scatter the shadows of death and cause the radiance of eternity to shine on us. As this through Christ our Lord. Amen. But those who are going to bring up the bread and wine for the upper the Mass, and could destroy
God, the Almighty Father. We can stand now, please, as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of Catherine. We beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling comes, turns to dust and eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. We can kneel now, please. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held and worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the whole world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, with Dennis our Bishop, and with all those who serve your people. Remember your servant Kathleen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly bodies after the pattern of his own glorious body. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph her husband, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O Lord, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We can stand now and together we pray to you, our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as 
as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every grace to grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. We just left to the love of container in there that dirty my Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For communion now, Mary will be giving out communion down at the back of the church. And Father Martin and I will give out communion here. I'll be on the right, and Martin will be on the left here. And you can just come down the middle and go back by the sides. <laughs> I watch sunrise light in the sky as in the shadows near and on this morning bright to be I feel no shadows near me. Oh, we know the ways. 
ready for the journey. I have got my leave. Bid me farewell, my friends. I bow to you all and take my departure. Here I give back the keys of my door and I give up all claims to my house. I only ask for last kind words from you. We were neighbors for long. But I have received more than I could give. Now the day has dawned, and the lamp that lit my dark corner is out. The summons has come, and I am ready for my journey. Let us pray, we can stand now, please. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant us strengthened by it. Kathleen may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And just before we have our final prayers, and then we have someone who's going to speak to us on behalf of Kathy. I'd just like to thank you all for your presence here today. I'd just like to thank very much Father Martin for joining us here. Father Martin works in the IT where Kathleen worked. And uh, it was great to see so many people here from Kathleen's workplace uh, joining her. Um, also, I'd just like to extend our sympathy also to Jim. I forgot to mention it there in a the few words, uh, her partner. And we extend our sympathy also to you, Jim, uh, in this sad moment as well. And 
Um, so I said to all the family, we just offer you our presence, we offer you our support in this difficult time. We're just going to have our final uh, prayers now and then we'll have someone who's just going to speak to us a few words on behalf of Kathleen's family. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Kathleen and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall joyfully see Kathleen again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Yeah, but that is before we go out yet. If you want to say this, Martin, while I'm blessing the, just a prayer there while I'm blessing and incensing the coffin. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, Kathleen, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Kathleen. In the sight of this world, she is now dead. In your sight, may she live forever. Forgive whatever sin she has committed through human weakness, and in your goodness grant her everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I just invite you to be seated now. And Someone coming to say a few words here on behalf of the family. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Magella, and I would just like to say a few words on behalf of Kathleen's family. Three sisters went on a fun and carefree weekend to the Clonry Hotel in Letterkenny for a country music weekend. Kathleen had her heart set on this weekend as it was her steward's birthday. And nothing was going to stop Kathleen from missing that. It was a weekend where Kathleen would not only catch up with Stuart Miles, but with also some of her country music friends. The only friend missing from this weekend was Michael Collins, and she let everyone there know that too. I think everyone at the Country Music Weekend got a look at her proud artwork on her arms of her two favourite singers, Stuart Miles and Michael Collins. There will be no escaping Kathleen now as she has, will have her eyes on you both 24-7. Kathleen loved and lived for the music with some of her favourites being John Malai, Aiden Clarkin, Limelight, after Dark, Glenn Flynn, and Sean Cuddy, to name a few. Kathleen herself, along with her two sisters, Mary and Lily, had no idea that Kathleen's sudden death would occur and their whole lives would change forever, including Kathleen's mother, Friday, partner, Jim, her other sisters, Josie, Eileen, Bridget, and her brothers, Ollie, Paddy, Jim, Paul, and Michael. The Grace family and Jim are painfully aware that life will never be the same again. Kathleen has left behind a place that cannot be filled, and this in itself is a high tribute to the person she was. She will always be in our hearts and treasured memories. As an individual, Kathleen touched the hearts and lives of so many people, including her nephews, nieces, and three godchildren, Michael, Dennis and Cody, whom and which she loved very much. 
We truly cannot have asked for a better person to be part of our lives. The dances, the trips away, the messing, the many laughs, the walks, there was so much squeezed into Kathleen's life. So many stories to be told and shared. We will enjoy sharing these stories to keep Kathleen's memory alive. We have no control over the future or when we will be called to our resting place. However, it's a comfort knowing that Kathleen fell asleep and was happy to fall asleep as she had received her last text message from Stuart. And for that, Stuart, we thank you. As it is a comfort knowing that she passed away peacefully. God has blessed the Grace family and Jim with wonderful relations and friends that will continue to show their support and help them through this difficulties at times. Please remember to cherish your own family and friends. Kathleen's family would like to thank the management and staff from the Glen Cree Hotel, the doctors that was on call, the emergency services, the guardian letter County, Father O'Brien and Father Martin, and to Martin Doyle for all the help and support he has given the family during the last week through this difficult time. They would also like to thank Mary Duncan and her friends for all their continued help and support from the moment they received the call. Till we meet again, Kathleen, may you rest in peace. I would now like to invite Stuart to say a few words. May God bless you all. Thank you. Hi everyone. It's good to see so many people here today to honour our friend Kathleen. I was sitting on Monday morning to receive the news of Kathleen's sudden passing. A life lived is a precious gift, and that gift Kathleen shared with us all, including her dog Toby and her adopted cats, which she often taught me about after shows. I'd gotten to know Kathleen and her family over the years through her love of music. I first met Kathleen and her family at Tinahili Show a few years back, organised by a mutual friend of ours, Des Willoughby. She often taught me she had many, many favourites in the music scene, including Jim Devine, my brother Trevor Miles, my cousin, Cherry Guthrie, and Glenn Flynn. I didn't expect to be this emotional, sorry. She was one of my biggest supporters. Of the years, and I miss her sense of humour, <laughs> taking selfies after shows and lots of pictures, and keeping a very close eye on me. Kathleen and I have a lot of laughs over the years, and she would always have the biggest uh, of welcomes and biggest hugs for me. She had such an infectious smile and was always laughing. She was a very kind lady, and we all remember her that way. I've chosen a poem I would like to read from my dear friend before we bid her farewell, entitled, A Silent Tear. Just close your eyes and you will see me, all the memories you have of me. Just sit and relax, for there you will find I'm really still there inside your mind. Don't cry for me now I'm gone, for I am in the land of song. There is no pain, there is no fear, so dry away that silent tear. Don't think of me in the dark and cold, for here I am no longer old. I'm in that place that's filled with love, known to you as all as up above. Rest in peace, my dear friend Kathleen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, then you and eternal Jerusalem. In peace, let us take Kathleen to her place of rest. Goodbye, my old friend. Your troubles are over. Rest your weary bones. There's nothing left to do. Farewell, my old companion. You will be remembered. And as you leave this world, all
Till we meet again someday.